When Sue Sokol gave birth to her daughters, Abby and Lily, doctors said they weren't identical. I constantly got stopped in the street, constant questions of, are they identical? And I'd go, oh, no, no, no. Um, I had two sacs and I had two placentas. But as the girls grew, so did their similarities. You can just have a mirror. <laughs> Walking with you every um, second of the day. DNA tests finally proved they were, in fact, identical. It was so overwhelming that I just burst into tears because um, it's like all of a sudden everything made sense. It's believed a third of parents of identical twins have been given the same misinformation. When there's two placentas, those, uh, you cannot say that those are identical or fraternal. They can be either. While almost 30% of fraternal twins believe they're identical or are unsure, Elizabeth and Sean Stowe's boys were thought to be identical and suffered from twin-to-twin -twin transfusion syndrome. Which is something that happens with identical twins. Fraser took lots of the nutrients and left Hamish with <laughs> little less, <laughs> with no food. But the boys grew differently. Two years ago, DNA tests showed they weren't identical. It was just nice that I could tell people the truth. Researchers say identifying twins as fraternal or identical is important for self-awareness, but also for assessing health risks that could be replicated across siblings. If one of them develops a disorder or a disease, and if they're identical, the other one should pretty quickly be screened for that disease. They're more likely to have it. But there are benefits. One of our twins said, well, I, I now know where I can go if I need a spare kidney. Happy to share a kidney, just don't ask them to share the limelight. <laughs> We've had enough talking. <laughs> Genetic testing of same-sex twins is recommended as early as possible. Abby Dinham, SBS World News.